Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. This is part six as I document my return to DC training. Let's get to it. I hope you all have enjoyed this series and found it helpful. I have sincerely enjoyed making it. Today is my C or third upper body workout. And before I decided to start filming this video series, I actually did this workout once before. So I'm going to refer to the logbook for every single exercise I do. I plan to do an update video around the six week mark and another update video around the 12 week mark. And I hope that I've done a good job of representing DC training. Today's first exercise will be for chest and it will be rest paused. It's the flat press on the lever gym. I do elevate my feet just because it's easier on my lower back. The arms are moving independently of one another and I'll do 12 repetitions with a 45 on each weight horn. Warm up set number two, an additional 25 on each weight horn. Just eight times with this one. Today, I've gone up two fives and I hope to beat my old rep count. Here we go. On my A day for chest, I performed my favorite chest exercise of all time, the dumbbell flat press. And on my B day for chest, I performed a chest press with a very slight incline on the Powertech Roller Smith machine. While this set is going on, I want to share my recommendations for anyone who is thinking about starting DC training. First off, I think it's wise to have two to three years of weight training experience under your belt. Secondly, you will need a well-stocked gym because you will need, at the very least, three exercises for each body part. Next up, I think DC should be your only physical focus. In other words, I don't think you should take up another demanding sport in addition to DC training. Food intake is going to be the hardest for me, but you will need to eat a lot of calories. Also, I think it's important to trust the process. Don't try to tweak the program. And then lastly, I think you gotta be a little off balance to push yourself so hard. So I'm happy with that. I went up two fives and an extra rep. Now 15 deep breaths, then rest pause set number two. I would like to get nine here. I have mentioned the reasoning behind this a couple of times, but the reason my bench is on plyo boxes is simply to make the lever gym flat press a more natural movement. And this exercise showed up in my top 10 hacks and DIY video. I hit my goal, 15 deep breaths, and then the final rest pause set. Pushing for six repetitions, at least. I want to thank Dante Trudell for creating the DC program. It's the best strength training program I have ever used, and it's the one that I enjoy doing the most. And Dante put out all of this information for free. He has three different splits for DC training, depending on your goals. And from the looks of his picture, you can tell that he doesn't just talk the talk. He also walks the walk. So there's eight. I went up a total of 10 pounds and a considerable amount of repetitions. So I'm very happy with that set. Now it's time for my extreme stretch. Last time for my extreme stretch, I used the 40s. Today I'm jumping up to the 45s. Hopefully holding it 60 seconds. For my extreme stretch, I got 80 seconds. Now I'm moving on to my shoulder exercise. And again, I will mention that my body does not tolerate overhead presses very well. So for my shoulder exercises, typically I do an incline press. Now it is important that as you go up in weight for your rest pause sets and work sets, that your warm up sets also begin to bump up in weight. So the last time I warmed up with the 40s, today I'm warming up with the 45s 12 times. For my incline dumbbell press. I've always really liked this exercise. Also, try to keep your elbows in like this is not a good position. This is much more safe. Warm up set number two, 55s, eight times. Now it's time for my rest pause shoulder exercise. The last time I did this exercise, I used the 60s and I got 12, seven and five. Today, I'm jumping up to the 65s. 
Those warm-up sets felt a little heavy, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. But 65, I hope to get 12. But even if I get 11, that's still okay because I have jumped up in weight. Anybody want to place a bet? If I get 12, I'm going to say I do. On my A day for shoulders, I used the PowerTech Lever Gym for an incline press. And on my B day for shoulders, I performed a standing lateral raise using the PowerTech Lever Gym and this chain configuration that I came up with. I showed this collection of DVDs and magazines in part one of this series. And some of these things are really hard to find now. But if you can get your hands on any one of them, I would recommend it. I learned a lot from each of these DVDs and magazines, and I'm just a fan of DC, so I like to have them. Barely, but I got it. Rest pulse set number two. Have I mentioned how nice it is not to have to take the dumbbells from the floor? I hope to get seven here. This dumbbell stand broke the top 10 in my video ranking my 18 Titan Fitness products. And the dumbbell stand showed up again in my favorite pieces of home gym equipment from $100 to $200 video. Come on, eight. Lightweight. Yep. 15 deep breaths. I'm aiming for five reps on this last rest pause set. It's important to keep your rep speed consistent from repetition to repetition. In other words, you don't want to speed up your reps in order to beat the log book. And I got it with six repetitions. When I go back and evaluate that last set, I had three wins. First off, the last time I did it, I got a total of 24 repetitions in that rest pause set. Today, I got a total of 26 repetitions. The second win is that I either tied or beat my rep count in each rest pause set. So the first time I did it, 12, seven, and five. Today, 12, eight, and six. And then the third win is that I went up in weight from the 60s to the 65s. Now, the next time I do this exercise, I don't know if I'm gonna jump up to the 70s because I am at the low end of my rest pause range. So I may jump up to 67s using the rogue add-on change plates. Now it's time for my extreme stretch for shoulders and I won't show this because you all have already seen it in parts two and four, but I'm going to use the PowerTech Streamline Functional Trainer for this type of a stretch. Next up for triceps, I have the PowerTech dip attachment. My warm up set is 245s, and I took those 65s that I was using for my work set for shoulders and put them on the floor to lock my feet under so that when I start to get heavier on this exercise, I can stay planted to the ground and still move more weight than what I weigh. Otherwise, my feet would be lifting off the ground, which doesn't make for a very good set. And I like this attachment because it's rare that you see a standing dip. Now it's time for my rest pulse set. The last time I did this exercise, I used 445s. I got 15, nine and a half, and seven. Today, I'm doing 445s and 210, so jumping up 20 pounds. And I don't think I'll get quite that same rep count, but hopefully I'll get close.
On my A day, my tricep exercise was the Titan Fitness seated dip machine. And on my B day, my tricep exercise was the close grip press using the Titan Fitness multi-grip bar and the PowerTech power rack. If you want to know any more about this PowerTech dip attachment, I have a full review on it. Also, in my PowerTech versus Titan Fitness series, I compare this dip attachment to Titan seated dip machine. Fifteen. Fifteen deep breaths. Rest pulse set number two. I hope to get nine and a half. If I could have anyone train me, and that includes people like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, I would choose Dante. And I really can't pay the guy much higher praise than that. And that statement includes all of the gurus, celebrity trainers, and people with a lot of initials after their last name. Ten, I'm happy with that. While this set is going on, I want to share the basic principles of DC training again. One of the most important is progressive overload, where you're going to go up in weight or reps or both from workout to workout on a given exercise. You got to beat the logbook. It's a low volume program, but it's a high frequency program. You got to find just the right exercise to work the muscle optimally. You got to get plenty of rest. You got to do a little cardio and you got to eat plenty of food to grow. I love it when I have DC days like today. So I went up 20 pounds and my rep count was 15, 10, and 8 for a total of 33 repetitions. Last time I did that exercise, again, it was 20 pounds lighter. And I got 15, 9 and a half, and 7 for a total of 31 repetitions or 31 and a half repetitions. So that was a win, win, win. Now I'm going to move on to my extreme stretch for triceps. And I won't show this because I've already put it on film. But I'm going to move on to the lever gym with the rope. I'm going to put 95 pounds on the weight horns and hold that for hopefully at least 65 seconds. I'm now at about the halfway point in my workout and I've switched from my intro workout protein drink to HydroCharge. I added four grams of citrulline in here and 100 milligrams of caffeine to help power me through the rest of the workout. I am going to be using the lever gym and the angles 90 grips for my back width exercise. It will be a pull down. And as I mentioned earlier, as you increase your weight and your work sets, it's also important to increase your warm up sets. So my warm-up set was 90 pounds last time. This warm-up set is going to be 100 for 12 times. As I've mentioned before, I really like these angle 90 grips. They're comfortable. They're ergonomically correct. They're extremely versatile. Warm-up set number two, an additional 50 pounds. Now it's time for my rest pause set. The last time I did this exercise, I used two 45s and two 35s and got 13, nine, seven and a half. I'm jumping up 20 pounds because the last time I did this exercise, I was just coming back from being sick. So hopefully I'm not overshooting and hopefully I've estimated this right. So four 45s and I hope to get at least 13 on my first rest pause set. On my A day for back width, I used the PowerTech lever gym and the widest of the knockoff mag grips for lat pull downs. On my B day for back width, I used the PowerTech lever gym and the supinated knockoff mag grip for pull downs. While this set is going on, I'll recap rest pause. In DC, rest pause is basically three sets taken to failure, and each one of those sets is separated by 15 deep breaths. If you're older than 35 like me, it's smart to have a combined rest pause of at least 20 just for safety reasons and not all muscle groups are rest paused <sighs> uh, 15 so i estimated correctly 15 deep breaths and then rest pause set number two rest pause set number two get nine repetitions here these angles 90 grips made my list of my top 10 home gym pieces under 100 dollars while this set is going on, I'll talk about the blast and cruise again. Hopefully my blast will last 12 weeks, and that's when I'm going hard and trying to beat the logbook from workout to workout. And then I'll be ready for a cruise, and that's when I take some time off, maybe 10 days to two weeks, and I just allow my body to recover from the very demanding previous 12 weeks. Ooh. 
I almost left one in the tank. I'm glad I didn't. So for that second one, I got 12. 15 deep breaths. Final rest pause set. Last time I got seven and a half. I'm coming to get that this time. 20 pounds heavier, and we're gonna get more than seven and a half reps. While this set is going on, I'll talk about the speed of the negative or the eccentric portion of a repetition. And you don't need to count the negative, for example, it doesn't need to be two or three seconds. That's just actually kind of mentally taxing. Instead, you just wanna be able to go slow enough that at any point during the negative, you could change course. I think that was eight repetitions. Time to evaluate that last set. The first time I did it in this DC rotation, I used two 45s and two 35s. I got 13, nine, seven and a half for a total of 29 and a half repetitions. Today, I did four 45s and I got 15, 12 and eight for a total of 35 repetitions. So again, it was a win, win, win across the board. I jumped up 20 pounds and I will not jump up that much um, from session to session. That was a big jump, but again, it's just because I'm feeling so much better and I've been able to eat more food than I did the first time I did this workout on 9-11-21. Um, now it's time for my extreme stretch and I'll hang on the PowerTech Streamline Functional Trainer, hopefully for 60 seconds, and then I'll move on to my back thickness exercise and last exercise of the day. Time for my back thickness exercise. I have the lever gym arms all the way against the frame of the machine, working independently of one another. I'm going to do a chest supported row because I'm cautious about my lower back. I would love to be able to do a standing barbell row, for example, from a back thickness exercise, but it's just not going to ever happen again for me. So 245s and uh, we'll go 10 warm up reps here. Warm up set number two an additional 225s for five repetitions. Time for my first work set. The last time I did this exercise, I did 245s and 225s 13 times. I am jumping up a lot of weight with 445s, so I hope to get close to 13. And again, this is a bigger jump than what I would normally take on a given training day, but I am feeling so much better, so I wanna take advantage of that. And this is kind of where I was before uh, I got sick. So I'm doing weight that I've done. On my A day for back thickness, I performed a hex bar deadlift using the Titan Fitness rackable hex bar and the PowerTech power rack. On my B day for back thickness, I used the PowerTech lever gym with the angles 90 grips for a seated row. I am going to switch out that exercise just out of fear of injuring my lower back to a chest supported pulley rope. I don't wanna leave any in the tank. I think I got 13, I'm gonna have to go back and watch. I rested about two minutes and now it's time for my final work set. I added a 25 on each arm. Lightweight. In this series, I hope I did a good job of showing how versatile the PowerTech lever gym is. The lever arms can be used for so many different exercises and this one machine can take the place of so many different machines and it's invaluable for me in my DC training. So eight, I didn't get the full reps that I wanted to but I'm still pretty happy with that set because I did move up considerably from the last time that I did it. Everyone, that concludes my six part DC series. 
Now I'm going to continue doing DC training, but I just won't be recording every workout because now it's time for me, now that I've got my exercises down and my numbers down, now it's time for me to grind. I've got to listen to heavy Deftones, I've got to listen to heavy tool, and I've got to get the most out of every workout. And sometimes when I'm trying to work on my mic and the lighting and everything else, it really detracts from my focus. But I have loved making this series and I hope it has been helpful to you all. Dante, if you are watching this, I hope I repped your program really well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you found anything in this six part series helpful, please consider liking this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I will tell you that for me personally in this channel, I do have one pretty big thing coming very soon, hopefully this week or next week. And I can't wait to announce that for you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone.